Right, so we have data from September through November um, that shows that nearly 17,000 individuals have lost coverage um, from the new requirements. So that's the requirement to work and report work. Um, there were another 2,000 individuals in, that were at risk of losing coverage in December. Well, a lot of people were unaware of the new requirements or confused by the requirements. So some individuals have complicated life situations. They may be homeless. They may be struggling to put food on the table. Um, others have complex uh, medical conditions, so either physical or mental health conditions. So that all contributed to them not understanding or being aware of the new requirements. Um, and then there were some individuals that were aware of the requirements but had difficulty navigating the reporting process. Um, so some individuals didn't have the right passcode or reference number and found it difficult to get assistance. Um, and others in more rural areas also had lack of computers or internet access. So all of those things made it difficult for them to report, even if they were working or may have had an exemption. So the state did a number of things to try to um, uh, inform individuals of the new requirements. So there were letters and notices. However, many of those were confusing to enrollees, so they didn't read the full notice and understand that they had to uh, create an account and do something monthly. Um, there was also a lot of telephone calls, but individuals were hard to reach, so they may have had um, a new number or they were not able to be reached by their telephone number, um, or they might not have answered the phone if they didn't recognize the number. There were also social media, things like Facebook, uh, live sessions, but enrollees were not really using Facebook to get information about Arkansas work. So despite some efforts by the state, there were many individuals who were not aware of the new requirements, and that contributed to them not setting up the account and not, um, uh, not reporting. Again, many were not aware of the new requirements. Many that tried um, to enroll or go online um, had some problems, and they found it difficult to get assistance, so getting a live person on the phone to help them. Um, again, the lack of internet access or the um, availability of computers was also a contributing problem uh, for, many, um, for many individuals. Some individuals also are not comfortable using computers, so the whole online reporting process was difficult. It was more difficult for individuals with complicated medical conditions as well as those who have these more complex um, uh, circumstances like being homeless. So those individuals are harder to reach and they have more difficulty doing this reporting and more difficulty working or finding a job. What we heard from enrollees when we were um, uh, talking to enrollees in November was that the new requirements were not really providing an additional incentive for them to seek out work. Most enrollees were already working or they were looking for work because they needed to pay their bills or they needed to buy groceries and support their families. So they were already in the process of looking for work or working. The problem that they faced was some individuals have unstable work hours, so they might be a hairstylist or a contractor. So they might be working more than 80 hours one month and less than 80 hours another month. Um, so those were problems. Transportation was another problem. Lack of jobs, particularly in rural areas, was another problem. So they were already trying to um, work or um, were working, but again, might have had unstable work hours. So people with complex medical conditions, and that could be physical or mental health conditions, are going to be more difficult to reach and inform them about the new requirements, and also it's going to be more difficult for them to comply with a work requirement. 
Um, many individuals with complex circumstances actually are relying on Medicaid to get some things that help them work. So individuals with a mental health condition or asthma might be getting necessary prescriptions or treatment that enable them to either um, find a job, so obtain a job, and maintain that job. So losing health coverage um, would be a barrier to them working because they wouldn't have that needed health insurance that supports their ability to work. So we don't know a lot about individuals who lost their coverage. We don't know if um, what's happened to them, but the few that we spoke to were finding it difficult to get their medications that they needed. Um, so that was more challenging because they would have to pay out of pocket. Um, even if they had a job, they were not able to afford employer coverage or they weren't offered that employer coverage. So individuals might be going without needed care that um, was important to them, um, and it might then affect their ability to continue working. So um, uh, those were some of the issues, and on the provider side, providers were worried that they were going to see an increase in uncompensated care as a result of individuals losing their coverage but still needing health care services and coming to get those services at a clinic.